Syrian Kurds want their own delegation for next month's peace conference on Syria. It's known as Geneva II. And last month, the group declared an autonomous government in the country. Now, Kurds are one of the world's largest ethnic groups without their own state. But as Paula Slear reports, history could soon be in the making. Discriminated, repressed and divided. For years, the Kurds were the scapegoats of the Middle East. But now their fortunes have turned. Resilient and hopeful, history is on their side. For 4,000 years, Kurds lived in Iraq. Now they're enjoying de facto autonomy, and many believe independence is not far away. Iraq now practically is not run by a powerful state in Baghdad. And I strongly believe that we are moving towards uh, a full independent Kurdish state in the north of Iraq. Across the border in Turkey, as much as 20% of the population is Kurdish. Their fight for independence has long been a thorn in Ankara's side. Ocalan always called for Kurd fighters to have more weapons, and they'll never give them up easily. But it's in Syria where the Kurds face their toughest fight. They're caught up in the middle of a bloody civil war. Their territories are being claimed by Al-Qaeda, their villages raided, their people killed. Residents of this Kurdish village of Basufana, 45 kilometers from Aleppo, say all it does is make them tougher fighters. They're prepared to die to protect their land and their people. Now every night they want to restart the clashes, but now we're well prepared because we made new bunkers so we have more abilities than before. If they attack us, we're ready to defend ourselves, but if they don't, we won't attack anybody. With such a strong fighting spirit, and even stronger desire for sovereignty, the Kurdish influence in this part of the world is growing. And arguably, it might be only a matter of time until a new state appears on the map of the Middle East. Paulus Lear, RT. But while that state is not established yet, let's have a look at the so-called Kurdistan region where the majority of the Kurds live. It's, uh, well, it's all over this area, to be honest with you, along the uh, border of four Middle Eastern countries. Uh, Turkey over there, Syria, Iraq, Iran here. And the total population of Kurds across the region is 40 million. Uh, the ethnic group has now taken control of large parts of northeastern Syria, right here along the border. And uh, one Kurdish political analyst says the civil war there has actually played straight into the hands of the Kurds. The Kurds in uh, Syria was emboldened by the fact that the Arab Spring came about and the regional powers uh, were busy with uh, internal strife, with the, uh, the stability of their own government, uh, while the Sunni Arabs and the uh, Shia and the different factions in Syria are fighting each other and the government is weakened. And um, uh, the Kurds have um, uh, found an opportunity to run their own affair and grab to whatever they can in terms of territory or uh, historically has been denied to them. Turkey is not very happy because what uh, Turkey sees, if um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the Kurds in uh, Syria get emboldened and have some sort of autonomy, uh, Turkey fears that this will translate into uh, or encourage its own uh, uh, Kurdish population and to demand the same right or similar rights. Now, Turkey is certainly worried. It began building a wall on the border with Syria, and many see it as an attempt to divide the Kurdish majority on both sides of the fence. Khalid Issa from the Syrian Kurdish Democratic Union Party, he believes Ankara's actions are only going to backfire. I think that if Turkey's government keeps supporting militants and jihadists and facilitates their entrance into the Kurdish regions and to the central areas of Syria, then the Kurds that live in Turkey won't stay silent. Also, if the jihadists attack the Alawite-dominated regions, Turkish Alawites will also take actions. Turkey's cooperation with terrorists will have consequences. If you play with fire, you get burned, as they say. Turkey is interested in stability in the region, and supporting terrorists is not in the interest of Turkey, nor is it in the interest of the Kurdish and Arabic people in the region. 